Welcome to the Live Makeover Show. I'm your host, Carol Tuttle. Could it be that if you can't see your true self, you're not able to express the most beautiful self of who you are? When you can't see your true self, you can't bring forth how much beauty you have to show to the world. Today's guest is going to show you how true that is. Welcome to the Live Makeover Show. Tag a friend that would love to jump on with us, live streaming with us right now in the studio here at the Dressing Your True Studios. Several weeks ago, I had a guest on a show that I host every Monday called Energy Profiling with Carol. Are you a fan of that show? Give that show some hearts and likes. It's been a great opportunity for me to support the women in the Dressing Your Truth community in truly coming forward and celebrating their stories, their successes, their recognition and journey of learning about their true selves, the experience of learning to dress their truth. And then, okay, you know, very frequently on the show, we host a guest that is struggling. They're not able to see their true self within the four types model that I teach called energy profiling. They're not clear which type of movement they lead with. And I had the opportunity recently to help a guest that actually created quite a stir within the community of Dressing Your Truth because of her response to me. We all could see and feel uh, the unsettling nature of my feedback. So we're going to watch a clip of that because uh, if you haven't seen it, it is worth a go and watch Put it on your uh, let's. I want your watch list because it's very enlightening to learn more about why we get blocked from our true nature. Let's take a walk. Let's look. Let's look at that for a second. Hello, Kate. Hi. This is the first time we've ever even spoken live. Thank you for your willingness to be vulnerable today. Mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome. <laughs> So how are you doing with this? Tell me where you're at. Um, i confused mostly. And why? Why? What uh, does it, are you following what I'm seeing though? Are you saying, okay, I can see what she's saying. Okay, are you following this training? Are you coming up with why it's not correct? I, I can, I have, yes, reasons why it's not correct. Um, I don't want to argue with you because yeah. you're the expert. Um, I want to get down to why this, the resistance. Um, and it's okay if you, I mean, again, women applaud you and thank you. You're being vulnerable on their behalf because there's those that are doing a lot of healing right now in my community. So you can see that my guest today who you've just met, her name is Kate. That was a very unsettling moment and there was a lot of outpouring of support and that was a beautiful thing to see in the Dressing Your True community is how women can come together in support of each other to rally for this opportunity to see the truth of who we are. That's what you experience when you're in this community. And I love that we've recently opened up and are now gifting the Dressing Your Truth online course which is going to just explode this community and create more opportunity for us to help other women in their journey. So many of you reached out to Kate and she's on different um, platforms that we have, our private Facebook groups, and there was this outpouring of support to help her in that. And I thank you for that. And so when we were looking at the, the submissions for the live makeover, we decided Kate would be our guest and it's significant today because I've not shared this yet today is our last live makeover episode we are in the process of crafting a new show that we're going to launch the beginning of next year that will actually feature your stories and your before and afters and you'll hear that at the first of the year we'll be announcing that new show that we're gonna launch so we're going to celebrate today 
on many levels. We're going to celebrate that we have a chance to live our truth as women. We're going to celebrate Kate, and she's representing you in that celebration. We're going to celebrate the wonderful opportunity this show has given us here to support you in your journey by seeing real women come into their true selves and their before and after experience. I know you're eager. you excited to meet Kate. Let's give Kate some hearts, likes, smiley faces. Click that uh, emoji button and let's invite Kate to the show. Come on out, Kate. Hello. Hi. So you're getting lots of woo! Because, you know, we heard from him. You should... We want to see Kate's after. Yeah, you know. me too. <laughs> so everyone's a little curious. What was that like for you during our brief interaction? Because there was a real concern that I was just kind of just bulldozing you like yeah hey, this is who you are deal with it yeah I felt really I felt really bad for you because I think maybe people got the idea that I was somehow tricked or thrown under the bus or something yeah but, um I thought I had enough time she she asked me four hours before airing if I if I could move the day yeah and yeah, I mean, we, had, we had already scheduled you yeah we were just switching the schedule yeah at that point and I'm a stay-at-home mom with two kids in school, so there's nothing on my schedule that I, I mean, outside of right. appointments that I can't just change. Um, so I was like, well, great, now I have to figure out what to wear. Um, <laughs> and then and then when she called about half an hour before the show and said that you were, I think adamant was the word she used, that I was a 3-2, um, <laughs> I think my reply was, <laughs> what? <laughs> because I, I, was, I was sure I misheard her. And... No. No, no, I can't be. <laughs> so. Well, that's interesting for me because when I hadn't, we go through a process before you have a guest on the show, and you had not been through that process yet because okay. you were scheduled, because it's typically the week, 10 days before, I'll, because you have to submit photos and everything, mm -hmm. and I'll look at everything and I'll make a deter, you know, what type are they? Are they yeah. in the right place? And when it came up for you to come on the show, she sent me the photos and I went, we got a problem here. She's not a type two. She's a type three. And I said, this is the situation. If she wants to still come on, we're going to correct that. Yeah. We're, that's why I'm going to support her in seeing. Because I'm I'm a hundred percent sure she's a type three. Yeah, and I was willing because I mean yeah. So it's kind of like don't it's turn like down the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mom, you got the golden ticket. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at you now. You're here. It's great. So what was it like for you after? Because again, we see how nervous you were and you were stunned and a little. It was unsettling. Yes. What happened once you the show ended? So when. Uh, when I hung up from the, the web, whatever it's called. Yeah, the live stream. Um, I think I swore a couple times and then started crying. And I. So you're kind of. I, I sensed you were angry. Initially, yeah, but yeah. that was what presented first was this frustration and anger. Yes, frustration, mainly because, um, well, like I said on on the program, I, I had lived as a type three. What I thought a type three looked like. Um, based on all of the video content that I, yeah. that's out there um, for a whole year. And I felt like I had to keep making excuses why I don't do like the make the lists. I don't, I don't make lists. I don't, I don't check things off. I hate nature. I am an indoor girl all the way. Um, but maybe you didn't have a, <laughs> you need to go glamping. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> There's I ways to do nature that aren't in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, <just saying. laughs> yeah. And and so uh, it, it, I felt like, well, I must not be a type three. And then I moved and I did type one for a year. Um, and that started out fun. And the ladies on that group are fantastic. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Um, they're a lot of fun. And... That didn't feel right, apparently. After a year, it was, I'm so tired. Everybody's asking me, like, are you okay? Are you sick? Do you feel okay? Because I felt exhausted. And, um, and I was like, okay, well, the only one I haven't looked at is type 2. Because at first, I dismissed it entirely. Yeah. I was like, nobody has ever called me soft or subtle in my entire life. And I started looking at it and watching Anne. And some of the, st the stuff started to be like, yeah, 
yeah, no, I really do like that. I love comfort. I love comfy clothes that I can do this in and soft. These pants are fantastic. I wish they came in a type three color. Um, so yeah. Near so. the error of your process, mm -hmm. and I've had a chance to chat with Kate off air about more details and the kind of mechanics and environment of her childhood, and it's, um, I, I think, it's something you would agree with readily that you had a lot of wounding in your childhood. I, yeah, I don't think any of it was intentional. Like my no, parents no. didn't set out, but the way I internalized based on stuff, their based on their wounding, based on the events with other scenarios playing out, there were things yeah. that happened to you. Yeah, that would shut down your true self. See, you yes. were on an early age. You weren't. Yes. You weren't um, supported in just developing through to who you were. At a very early age, yeah, I think and so. and there's degrees of that on that spectrum. Yours was quite extreme. Yeah, I think so. You weren't. So how you approached energy profiling was though, rather than allowing yourself to look at yourself and where do I fit in this model, you were trying to find yourself in it. Yes, that's a great See? way of describing it. You were you were already at a place in your life where you had to find out who Kate is. Yeah, I, whether you had EP or not. Yeah, I, I really felt like I was at a point where I don't know who I am anymore. I don't yeah. know. You never knew who you were as a child. Yeah. That's fair to say that. Yeah. You weren't given enough environmental support and parenting support. And it wasn't like your parents woke up every day and went, wish this child. <laughs> no. It's just the whole complexity of the life and the layers of it. Yeah. And that at the time, you know, unless you had a parent that was into self realization. No. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah. They're in survival mode. Yeah, yeah. And and you get you get you get thrown under the bus then as a kid. See, without it being intentional. Yeah, without it being intentional. No. So you've been um, in this process for several years now of saying, Who am I? So it's like you yeah. tried on each of the types, but you tried to be them. Yes. I tried very so much you tried to, to be what you thought a type three would be, rather than just mm -hmm. being yourself as a type three. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know how to be myself. You didn't so, know how to be yourself. So I was just like, okay, well, this is what type so threes do. I'm a, do yeah, it. it's like, what do type fours do? Okay, I'm going to try that. I'm mm -hmm. going to act that way. Yes. Oh, uh, this is how type threes, and quite honestly, your interpretation would be very stereotypical. Yeah, yeah, it, it wouldn't really was. be. Just being you and saying there's, um, you know, a lot of my natural expressions that are type three, but I'm still me and being me. I don't, I'm not trying to be a type three. Yeah. Yeah. And then those, those movements, the, the things I do, I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm edgy. I don't feel like I'm substantial. Well, you, uh, so I mean, other people see it. Consider the possibility <laughs> though, is you've been trying to behave in a way that gets you recognition, you know, so you don't upset people. See, so you have a lot of learned behavior on. Yes. I don't want to upset people. Mm -hmm. I, I need to get validation. You're going to navigate that in every scenario. So yes, I see I it in your, I see it in your body language, the way you talk. See, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. Not in the um, pers persona that you can tweak and morph and, you know, change according to what your belief system is and your level of lack of or you know it's a lack of self-confidence yeah. in knowing yourself very much a lack of self-confidence in knowing myself <laughs> so this is gonna, i'm excited for this whole process yeah, that's for the, that reason may, mostly well yeah that's where it gives you a center point now i don't have to keep finding myself i get to practice being myself yeah what is a type what is type three kate look like? yeah that'll come out naturally that will you'll have to yeah. keep trusting it to allow it. Yeah. Yeah, that part might. Yeah, well, see, so you have it in your eyes a lot. <laughs> People can see that. They're that like, was one of the things I have to keep going. <laughs> I, would, I used to sit there in the, it, well, just in life, everywhere, and be like, stop it. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> like, pull my eyelids uh, back up. Like, looks I'm good get on lines. you. So I'm curious, do you like this outfit? Yeah. You know, is that, yeah. you're drawn to that. Uh huh. So when you're like doing that. type three, did you like the style? Yes. I'm yes. moving over here just a little no. bit. I'm fine. Yeah. So um, you did like that, mm -hmm. but it was all about not knowing who you were. Yes. So this is, I just want a little heads up. This will be in the Dressing Your True store to the week of December 18th. You got to see the back of this thing. 
Isn't that like, that's the sweet oh, spot. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. Like so Dressing your truth, which you all have free access to now. Getting yourself in the right movement. It's going to be a daily reminder. This is who I am. Yeah. This is who I am. Yeah, it was funny. The first day, the first day that I, after that airing, where I, mm -hmm. where I put on something type three, um, I hadn't noticed for a month, two months that I was dressing in the type two clothes. I was tired. I was yawning mm -hmm. all the time. And I thought maybe I just wasn't getting good sleep at night and trying to figure out why am I so tired all the time? And then I put, um, I put one of my husband's shirts on cause I didn't have any type three stuff left. And, um, I didn't yawn all day. I was, like, huh. Now, you told me one of your first reactions, though, once you said, when I confirmed you were type 3, was what were, you, what were you upset about? I got rid of a whole entire type 3 wardrobe. <laughs> like, we're coming into winter. Coats are expensive. Do boots you, are expensive. Do you know that that first thought is so type 3? You gotta be kidding <laughs> me. I winter. just spent that money. And I've been buying type 2 stuff. See, there's a type 3 right there. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. But that thought process of, Whatever. I just like had all that and I yeah. got rid of it. You're kidding me. Yeah. See, that's very type three. And I think I had, I think I had a shirt arrive, type two shirt arrive like the next day. <laughs> and it's okay. I tea dyed them. It turned out great. Great. Yeah. I you think it's You all rebuild now. this. You're very determined women. And the, see, there's the same thing. And I told Kate this, and we're going to talk about it more in the after show is how being a type three was your greatest gift to help you get through your childhood that you drew on that every day as a child. And yeah, it was there. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just you're doing it from a place of survival more than a place of it feeling like developing gifts. But you're doing it, because I had to do it. Yeah. So, Well, we're excited for you. I want to point out that what you're very well put together. You, you're an attractive woman, so people would see you and go, you're... You know, you have a, um, for your lifestyle, you have a nice look. You know, yeah. you would, you'd kind of blend in with yes. a lot mm -hmm. of women that this is very typical. But it's mm -hmm. really washing out your face. What you're going to see happen is her skin mm -hmm. color is going to look very rich and dynamic. And this woman had, this is when I taught, when I opened the show today, I said, could not seeing yourself keep you from seeing how beautiful you really are as a woman. And one of your greatest features in your face are your eyes. They're incredibly dynamic and exotic. There's a, they're a beautiful green color. And we don't get, you're not getting any benefit of that in what no. you're doing here. And you're going to see her whole face come alive and how beautiful Kate is and how well you wear the type 3. I know you're excited for that. Um, yes. I think you're ready to just say, settle into it. Uh, this is who I am. And I'm going to work out and keep healing from the things that are yes. keeping me from living it. Are you a lifestyle member right now? Oh, yeah. So did you do that? I don't like my type 3 energy healing session? Yeah, you su you suggested I do it like twice a week. Um, <laughs> I didn't do it twice a week, but I okay. I did do it, and I was like, the part over here really hurt. Interesting. So well, your body's just that. letting go of stuff. Yeah, and it was. Yeah, it was a little bit like, and then, okay. Yeah, so. good for you. Well, we're excited. You're gonna go now. Yeah. Start your makeover process. Yes. And <laughs> are you excited? I am. Ah. And nervous, but excited. That's okay. <laughs> You're going to love it. I know you will. Okay. Well, I go now? Yep. Okay. We'll send you off to get going. She's a lovely yeah. yeah, she's beautiful. So I think that was maybe part of her challenge was she could pull off a lot of looks because she's That's just true. really beautiful. Right. Because, well, she looks... She looks attractive but not like wow no she's That's going the difference she she's going well to like together and attractive to zing when yeah. in her after and you'll see like you said in the beginning you'll see what was missing mm -hmm. i go out into the real world i i get to work with so many beautiful women who dress their truth mm -hmm. and they go out into the real world and so many women are being compromised they're compromising their beauty sure. because they aren't allowed true beauty to shine through their the natural movement and their hair and I'm just like just let me get my hands on you for one second and it's free you can go do it exactly so. it's free and in the before and after free online course that you actually go through the dressing your truth training you start with 
post uploading a before photo. And then at the end of your experience, we take you through the whole after process, you upload an after photo. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of those on dressingyourtruth.com. Go check those out and you see this. And the other place they've been up, they've been shared prolifically in the private Facebook group for our lifestyle members, which anyone can join, um, very reasonable. And that's that in itself has been very therapeutic and healing because it, when you see so many women truly embracing themselves, coming alive in their beauty, their, their stories that they share, it gives you confidence to do it yourself. I've seen a lot of the before and after shared there from women that said, I've never shared this before. Mm -hmm. But they felt they could because everyone Or they'll start was posting outfits that they're wearing. Like, I've never done a selfie before. And they'll yeah. get encouragement from the women that are in the group. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. It's really an empowering group. I love that Lifestyle Facebook group. So yeah, shout give, out to our Lifestyle peeps. Yeah, give, us, <laughs> give Lifestyle some hearts and likes if you're a Lifestyle member. And how is Dressing Your Truth? You see your true beauty and a lot of the things you used to judge that you thought were negative about yourself, you now mm -hmm. see are your gifts. That's one of the biggest takeaways. Physically and... Yeah. Now, I mentioned earlier, this is our last live makeover show. Um, this is our last episode. We're wrapping up the year with this last one. I'm glad we could... We've gone eat. almost two years strong. This is, is a good one to end on. Yeah, it's a good one to end on. We've been broadcasting this show for almost two years. Because we have in the works right now a new show we're going to launch at the beginning of next year that's going to actually showcase and feature your the, the before and after experience of the women in our community. Just yeah. when you think Carol is done with big announcements, ladies. <laughs> I mean, this type 3 woman just it. doesn't stop. <laughs> well, I notice trends. I notice what, you know, what... And I want to... You know, the goal all along has been showing more of the women in our community as, as much as we can, mm -hmm. giving you a chance to share your story. So my, my new idea really embodied that. Mm -hmm. So you can, I'm, I'm not going to say anymore. I'll be <laughs> announcing that. Hopefully by the end of January as we work on the different yeah. variables. And a good time to place. start a new show at the beginning yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. I, I think you'll really love it because yeah. it's just great to... We'll keep doing our in-studio makeover, so we do select from that experience. We always give a preference to our lifestyle members for mm -hmm. that experience, but we will now be... We'll actually be reviewing some of the candidates for our next round, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our in-studio makeovers <laughs> that we feature on our website will continue. We're actually going to be able to do more of those now that we're... Mm -hmm. not going to be doing this show. Yeah. So we are now doing a live Q&A, so send in your questions in the comments and we'll get those sent over. In the meantime, while we gather those questions, I wanted to share my outfit details. There's lots of comments about your beautiful outfit, and as you yeah. mentioned, it will be in the store in December, December 18th. And is the dress and the duster, are both, and you've had that chain necklace for many years. How long have I you had, had that? Well, let me show you what it is. <laughs> I know, I love it. It's like I mean, is you it have to hide five that. years. How long? Oh, have you had no, it? no. I when did we first start buying jewelry? How many years ago? Oh, uh, eight years ago. Was that from a very first jewelry yep. trip? Yep. Wow. Anna and I were our original buyers, and Sarah. I was and I. the original photographer of jewelry, folks. We have come a really yeah. long way. I, I was tell you about that. I have no photography experience. But. This necklace <laughs> is long. But I knew I don't I don't wear the length. I don't No, see, and it doesn't have thing. a pendant or anything to doesn't really do it for me. Mm -mm. So <laughs> This is super. This is just something I bought at a craft store. Oh, just a hook. a hook. Okay. So, I just yeah, I've had this a long time. And ta da I just double it up. There you go. The necklace Easy. that keeps on giving Tea. We always have products like this. There's mm -hmm. always easy to find. We always fine. try and have there's classic. Yeah. There's always there's necklaces right now you can mm -hmm. put in with this, but I just happen to like the yeah, it looks great. My modified. I like your darker lip color too. Thank you. That's DYT. That's all my makeup street. Of it is. <laughs> it's, we have great makeup. I, love, I love our makeup. And right now, if you're a lifestyle member, you have a uh, you get a discount. And this month's discount is on a makeup purchase. Oh, great. 
Yeah, good time to stock up. So my outfit, I'm featuring our smoke signals top. And if you're a type two, this is the quintessential top. Look at these beautiful ruffles and how the shoulder falls down, the seam on the um, shoulder. And then it just flows gently. It's a generous size. I'm wearing a size small. And this goes all the way up to 3X. And it runs large. And so, hooray, we have it for everybody. And it's a just a really soft fabric, lays really gently, and I love that it has a little bit of a softened V rather than just a full-on scoop or a sharp V. It has a really soft neckline, and then I've paired it with um, this necklace, really lightweight, it's wooden beaded, so it just hardly feel like it's on there, but I like that it brings in some of the silver shine, the teardrop earrings, everything I'm wearing is in the store right now. So it's really pretty. Yeah. Those are dripping and elegance mm -hmm. earrings. This is a top that if you're a type two, you will just shine. And if you're not a type two, it won't feel very good on you. It is just no. classic type two. That would age me a good 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. Totally. It, yeah. I'd look 20 pounds heavier. It would age my face. Um, there, you know, right when I was starting to dress my truth, the first five years, the was just the trend was soft fabrications like everything was mm -hmm. s curves and soft and you know we're going on 13 years ago and it was such a pivotal shift in my life because i probably would have tried to wear that because it was just it what was it was available i didn't even mm -hmm. have to consider anymore mm -hmm. all right let's start with some questions what happens if you feel you are equally two types I've said um, you'll overdevelop your secondary because your true self wasn't getting enough nurturing and admiration from your parents. So you're never um, equally two types. You always lead with a dominant energy. Children show us that when they're honored, when they're nurtured, when they're validated for their true self. Their secondaries play um, a supportive role and they very much live with their true self. I was on the phone yesterday with my her, her oldest child, who's a type three, four, she's just like me, <laughs> and uh, I happened to call in to talk about some stuff about today, and Katie just, she likes to just... Interject herself into she conversation. She just kind of barges in. <laughs> it's a barging in energy. There's no question. Because yep. all of a sudden I hear her, Grandma! And she's yelling. <laughs> so I start yelling back at her. And I don't even realize we're both yelling until I realize we're both yelling. I go, we're both yelling at each other. <laughs> That's too funny. And I'm my like, little type two son and I are sitting in the middle of it. <laughs> Let him do their thing. No. Yeah, I say hi to Sam. So and if, Katie goes, he's waving. <laughs> <laughs> so if you feel like you're equally two types, but obviously you're going to lead with that dominant, how do you determine? Start one of the two types, dress it, and see how you feel. Commit to 30 days. If you haven't done so yet, I would recommend watching the uh, videos with the real women in the mm -hmm. part one of the before and after course. So those are really powerful videos. We've had a lot of wonderful feedback on women who have just, that was the, the key. Watching that video just in the last week or two has really helped them discover their yeah. dominant type. And also as you watch the course, you know, you'll see if you relate to what, you know, this, no two type styles look even resemble each other. Right. Yeah, you know, if you're deciding, I'm either a type one or a two. Those are night and day styles. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, the way you go through the course, too. I mean, you can oh, yeah. relate to It's all right there. You can click through the different types. Um, and then I would just um, set the intention that it will be shown to you very clearly and that you're ready for that. <laughs> How young is too young to do the DYT course? Would it be beneficial for my 12-year-old triplets? How fun. Very very 12 year old, 12 is a great age. That's I would when say. The learning starts setting in. Though. I would say eight would be like oh, yeah. a really good age, even younger if they're showing interest. But I mean, my mm -hmm. daughter's cute. I gave her all the style guides and pattern cards, and she'll, I'm a type three. Who are these colors? Or is that mm -hmm. a type two mom? She'll start asking questions. And obviously, she's very close to it being my daughter. But I would say a type four um, child could even start uh, as young as eight because they sure. tend to take an interest in those things. The shame earlier. based reference, too. I'm not. I'm, my body's not right starts around um, 10 between the ages of 10 to 12 in our female culture where a young girl starts to form an opinion about herself and in most cases it's, it's an unfavorable opinion and you'll you know if you've got if you're a mom watching the show and you've introduced your younger daughters share in a comment how much you've 
uh, been able to bypass that particular yeah, share their phase. age too if, if you've shared yeah. this with your younger children share their responses to it yeah you give your daughter an advantage to know herself feel loving and kind thoughts towards herself and she um, will not be captured by that shame based reference see she'll be she'll you'll help her avoid it Mm -hmm. I think especially if you had triplets, too, because... Most likely they're not the same time. <laughs> yeah, and there will be, because as they grow up to each, each other, you know, you hear of, oh, my twin sister, or she was always the more likable one at school or whatever, and if they go yeah. into this phase of teenage years knowing, like, oh, I'm different than my sister because of this, and I have my own look, they're going to just feel really comfortable in themselves. Mm -hmm. Do you have any in-person group events coming up? We host an annual event um, once a year. It'll be in September here in Salt Lake City. We cap it at about, um, I think we're thinking we'll be capping it at about 600. We've already sold over 200 tickets to that. That'll open up in January where you can buy an event ticket for that. Other than that, no, we do not host live events. It's all online. Mm -hmm. This is a live event, I guess. Not it's in person, live. but it's live. Yeah, yeah. How you can I... You don't need us live. We, you have more benefit to what we teach online because it's evergreen, it's there, you can repeat mm -hmm. it. You could spend... Are you a... Uh, have you binged watch? Somebody wrote... <laughs> The lifestyle videos, the new Netflix. Oh, that's great. Did you great. see that? Because they binge watch our videos. Oh, we are pumping out a lot of content. I was actually up till almost midnight last night working on the editorial calendar through April because I'm going to have a baby, so we're going to, in February, so we have to have some things prepped way ahead of time. But can I just tell you, we have so many great ideas coming. And there are more questions that are coming in that I'm not spending time on because it's like, um, a lot of it we cover in our um, lifestyle content. And that if you if you feel like you've been searching around, you're not a lifestyle member, you're not getting the answers that you really want, and you're really invested in this program, join Lifestyle. It's thirteen dollars a month, a hundred dollars a year, and there is oodles of information. Just last week we did a Q and A with the experts, four different live broadcasts, so many great questions asked and answered, and <laughs> opportunities to share. So. Can't say enough about our lifestyle. And I know you feel the same way. I'm not just biased. So I appreciate all the wonderful comments. Um, what do I do if I don't like dressing in my type? I'm a type one and do not like most of the clothing. Well, I have to learn how to put together a look. See, you see items. If you go to the Dressing Your Truth online store, we have some new arrival videos that just were posted, published this week. You've got to see the look and how to craft your own look. And you also need to learn about adding your secondary, which is a lifestyle value that you learn how to now add your secondary. And we have a feature in the lifestyle content called Style Inspire. So every week we post a board that shows for four types a different look. So you're not knowing how to bring your look together as a type one. Mm -hmm. And until you have that ability and you need to learn that ability, you're going to just have an opinion about single items that uh, are going to feel comfortable to you because you're still accepting your true self so you're challenged by accepting the clothing mm -hmm. well that's um the experience you gotta that, do that kate, healing work kate had shared she dressed as a type three for a year she, it was, she just she liked the way she looked but she didn't feel at home in the clothing mm -hmm. and so both of what you talked about incorporating her secondary now has made a big difference for her in finding the type three style that is correct for her yeah. and also accepting her type three there's healing internally. work to do for mm -hmm. every woman I think it's just the spectrum's um, different for each of us. I had a lot of healing to do. I didn't get even a chance, you know, there was hardly a... The only time I could be my true self is if I was by myself. <laughs> I couldn't be my true self in my family, mm -hmm. you know. It was just too... It was, and I was intimidated. There were too many things going on. And so I have that degree of pretty extreme wounding, but everybody some degree of healing to do because mm -hmm. no one's been raised ideally true to their nature there's those that some have they they you know they, my husband tanner is a good example yeah but he has other <laughs> stuff he's got to work out yeah. you know no he's i not think free of yeah it's part issues of, it's part of being human exactly and the cultural beliefs yeah. generational patterns so heal yeah. that wounding in your type one reference you know mm -hmm. and start just as kate's showing us today you won't love 
your style, the way you look, until you love yourself. We Start have, recognizing the self that you are. We did a recent lifestyle video with Stacy, who is a type one, and she shared her journey of how she so expresses those same feelings. She had to do a lot of inner work, and now she was ready to match that on the outside. Yeah. And so she was able to achieve a look that was better than ever before. She cut her hair. She, you might remember her. She is the um, type RN. One. She had the fr um, those really cute type one fringe pants on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was <laughs> a lot of fun. down the seam. She was a lot of fun. This is a good question. What's the difference between energy and vibration? Can you have low energy and high vibration? Well, those are mixed in the world of energy healing and the world of... Well, as far as you reference them, what would you... Well, energy is our vibration. So vibration is, they can actually measure vibrations, the frequencies at the levels they vibrate. And so now I think if your vibration's low, you're not living in your true energy. Mm -hmm. But on the same note, type two and type three have lower movement, which yeah, we sometimes different. say is a lower energy. So yeah, those would a, be different categories. Th th there's a lot to learn about that. Continue to learn. Make sure you read my book, It's Just My Nature, so that you understand when we're talking about energy profiling is a assessment of movement. Your energy is not just, um, I've got a lot of energy today. It's the vibration of your natural expression mm -hmm. and how it influences these different traits, qualities, um, characteristics in your nature, human just nature. Just that understanding in and of itself, understanding as a type 2, I'm a lower energy, lower movement, and her type 3, knowing the difference in my daughter, she's a higher energy is so validating yeah, to know that I can relax it into has, that and not feel like I have to keep up. So obviously there's so much more to learning your type, but just that in of itself, understanding your mm -hmm. movement is yes. really impactful mm -hmm. and empowering. Should my gym clothes reflect my nature? Most of mine are and I'm wondering if it's affecting my workout. Very much so. Vibration is a constant in our lives. Whatever you put on, whatever you eat, um, environment you put yourself in, the kind of media expose yourself to is all has an effect on the vibrational uh, quality of our energy. And so when you're putting your uh, colors of vibration, you, te you learn five elements in the new before and after free course. You learn about pattern, you learn about design lines, texture, fabrication, color. Those movement that creates a vibrational quality. If it's not matching yours, it will cause interference mm -hmm. with yours. Not, it's not just about how it affects your look. Kate said she was dressing as type 2 and the type 1 very much made her feel tired. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones she did the longest outside of the type 3. Her energy was off because she was putting an interference on every day. Yeah, if you're feeling... You know, we've talked about this before. You can get some, if you're type 3, get some really great type 3 exercise clothes. You'll be excited to put them on. And well, I talked to Jan. We're excited um, to get going. We have videos in Lifestyle. We do. We have exercise wear for all type. It also has a few, um, like, lifestyle tips for yeah. how to approach exercise true to your type. And Jen's working on some style boards, style inspire boards for January that will feature um, exercise, exercise wear. fitness wear, and, of course, mm -hmm. the style... Every item on the boards is shoppable, and uh, some of it's from our store, other from other. Mm -hmm. She finds a lot on Amazon. It's great. Amazon Prime is the because best. Because she knows people really <laughs> like shopping on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm curious if you have um, gone through the, if you've been dressing your truth for a while, how have you changed your gym clothes to reflect your true nature? Because sometimes it's like, okay, get my wardrobe. Now what about yeah. my pajamas, my undergarments, my clothes, my hiking shoes, whatever, you know, those kind of lesser things, but eventually it will all transform because you just find it and you love it and you feel so good in it. Well, you're kind of, it's, you're motivated to get up and especially if you get yourself some new things because you want to wear them. And usually if you're putting on it, exercise wear, you'll exercise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the <laughs> point in putting it on. My exercise wear is a fleece zip up and some cut off sweats because I exercise for about 15 minutes. I do stretches. And it's lovely and beautiful. And so I don't need anything too fancy, but they're all in type two tones, so yep. it's great. Yeah, well, mine's type three. Um, okay, what's it? Let's see, I read that one. How do you keep your jewelry looking good and long? Probably referring to your necklace. My necklace is tarnished when they hit my skin. So a couple Mine never hit my skin, really. 
I mean, I rarely have them again. I mean, they're usually on top of something. But yeah. Well, I guess the the side is. You know. know. So I buy. I buy. Uh, I. I the, you hang, I'll give you a couple tips. So um, anything, obviously what we're selling in the store is fashion jewelry. And so it's just like, it's not real gold. You have to buy real gold for it not to tarnish. And so you want to take precautionary steps so that your gold doesn't tarnish as quickly. We sell anti-tarnish squares in the Dressing Your Truth store. And you can put these wherever you store your jewelry or if you hang it, you could hang it up with it. And that will just help um, prolong the life of you can also um, get a we have a buff in polish cloth and if you just regularly um, use that to wipe off any residue that will help prolong it as well because anytime the jewelry is touching your skin those oils are getting on it also mm -hmm. if you're showering in the jewelry if you're using hair products I think with climate jewelry on, can make a difference too because we live in a very dry climate yeah so if it's more moist it I don't probably, have you know I any have a, sweat will my skin's very very dry mm -hmm. so I so know. I know type one not dry is problematic yeah. dry but I live in it and some type three say I like when it gets tarnished because then it creates a more textured fill the type ones though you're going to want to make sure you're keeping your gold bright and shiny so look into those products and just um, being a little bit more particular about when you wear it and not doing your hair with your jewelry on or else things products can get on so I'm curious if you've been sharing DYT hit the uh, we love to see that response, if you had a chance to share Dressing Your Truth with a loved one, a friend, a sister, a co-worker. And have they jumped right in. That's yeah, are they, I are they enjoying sharing. it? Share in a comment or uh, hit an emoji button. Let us know. Love to see your response. Let's take one more question. What if so many personality traits point towards type 2, but all facial features point towards type 3? Then you're type 3 because personality traits is, are persona. It's the least accurate assessment tool of the five assessment tools you're taught to go through, which are body profiling, which includes body language and face profiling, um, thought and feeling processes, behavior tendency, um, your you look at your voice, your pitch, your your movement, how you move through life, and then your um, personality is the least accurate because you can alter that. Just as we saw with Kate in the intro, she tried to be the personality of each type. She was mm -hmm. trying them on, putting herself in them. And that's not the approach. You are who you are. Energy profiling is an assessment of your true nature. In this case, she wasn't given a chance to develop it with confidence so she could recognize it. And this, the amount of healing that can occur when you finally are being able to see it. There was a gal on the, um, you saw it, there was a gal on the Lifestyle Facebook group yesterday who knew. She thought she was a type 2 for a while. Paulette, she's Paulette, probably watching. <laughs> she was the, she was the woohoo on the Facebook group yesterday because she got a, there have been a lot of those, I feel like, this week. People have been yeah. like, okay, I've realized I I'm see a type it now. four. I see it now. And I'm so grateful that like the heavens are opening and they're yeah. seeing clearly because it's beautiful. Well, I, I know yeah, I, uh, we'll see different. We'll go, well, I hope they, you know, we'll pray for these women. They'll see themselves. And in Paulette's case, she was saying on the comment thread, uh, I don't know how I didn't see it mm -hmm. now that I do see right, it. Right, right. And, and that that's will be the case the for case. Kate. Yeah. As now, and as you're pointing it out, like your response was type three. The fact that she was like, okay, yeah. like going through her makeup and dying clothes and just like hands on, I'm going to make this switch. But Trust your, your face. If you have Trust your face. a type three face, your face says it all. You are a type three. Go with it. Allow mm -hmm. it to come. Allow yourself How to do How do you this approach one. that if you're nervous for all the emotions that will come up? Well, it requires more energy to repress all that emotion than to than to allow it to come up and let it heal. Mm -hmm. It's easy to heal. So why move? Why repress it for three more years? Exactly. If in three and weeks let it turn you into can physical. just poof. that energy has to be accounted for somewhere, and it typically is accounted at the physical level, which mm -hmm. creates disease and disruption in the body. When it's really it's feel the uncomfortable feelings we didn't like feeling in our childhood. I have a lot of healing content and lifestyle to help you navigate that process. And it allows you to do the emotional healing work, which actually is not that hard. It's trusting it. Because the number one, the number one step in emotional healing is feeling. You have to feel it. It's going to be scary, though. You have to feel it. Yeah, but... But like you said, why... 
live your life repressing it. I mean, that's... It takes more energy to try and override it than mm -hmm. it does to allow the healing You're going to way better than you ever have before if you, <laughs> you move through it. And you're not alone. We have an amazing community to support you along the way as you move through this. Yeah, when you buy... Oh, we needed our... We need a... Our support we'll bring kit. it for the after. The support kit, you get access to the, when you buy the support kit for $49, you get access to the um, type Facebook groups, which are filled with thousands of women that uh, that are just friends and allies to you help you. You get access you. to your type yes. Facebook group. You join the type of your type, and they're there for you. Mm -hmm. They want to see Veterans, you succeed. Veterans, women who are starting just at the same time you are, and all the gamut, different secondaries, beautiful women yeah. from all over the world. It's have, so fun. Have, have, has anyone bought a support? Who's bought a support kit and used the new pattern guides? Show some hearts and likes for that. We've That's a great tool, by the way. Mm -hmm. You want to get that. You get these pattern guides. $29 through next week. We've got... Um, well, just for the pattern guides. Yes. And the to support the kit is kit $49. Is $49. Yes. And we've got a really fun video coming out next week that for the lifestyle members behind the scenes of how the pattern guides came to be. It'll be really fun. Yeah, and we actually I'm gonna give it a some trade cliffhanger. To show you. Uh, we've been asked to do color cards in this new video. We will tell you where we're at with that. And uh, oh, good, yeah, bring oh. those over. Thanks, Kate. Uh, we'll give you the lowdown on uh, that request. We Color start. cards specifically like a green card, a blue card, yeah. all you types get blues. get the inside scoop on that one. Where are we at with that? Well, that looked nice on your top. It's a type four style guy. Does uh, that work? Guide. You know what I love Duh. about them that totally not. surprised yeah, me, me was how the color I mean, I don't have any pattern on my top, but the color harmonizes. It's a good color tool yeah, as well. Yeah, we didn't realize how strong it would be. Um, Let me show you the difference with the type one. Yeah, how how much support it would give to choosing the correct colors for your type also. That was mm -hmm. sort of a... Oh, that looks really great. Yeah. I could wear this as a... <laughs> pendant on your neck. <laughs> my, my earring. Get two of these. Put a Anna K could totally make it work. She'll she it. could wear them. She'll fashion She's it a for three you. one. She could put a fish hook <laughs> ear thing and wear these. Next fashion show, ladies. You just <laughs> see now that doesn't look right, huh? That's so funny. Yeah, even putting that by your face, it's like ah. That's so <laughs> funny. Turn it around. Oh, fun. Okay, we'll be back at 3.30 with Kate's reveal. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see her eyes. Woo, woo, woo. We had some big plans Sparkle. for her hair. What are we going to do? Are we going to put in? Is she going? She's going short. Pitching. Is she going like Carol? <laughs> is she staying longer? Where are we going with it? What do you think we should do with her hair? Because that honestly becomes the number one, like, do I have to cut my hair short? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. no, no one. And shave half of it off. Yeah, you have to shave half your, you know, you have to <laughs> That's shave That's why it. I've never applied for a makeover. I don't want to shave my head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see well, these comments, like, why do you cut every woman's hair? I'm like, no. We you got long, we got medium, we no. got short. It's just they get a style now that's true to them. So Every type that. three in the type three real women video in the part one before and after course has long hair. There you go. So, because we've got Sarah, Sarah, Jen, and Jan. Anne. So it's all and Anna K. And yeah, they do. They all have. Sarah's is the shortest, sort mm -hmm. of mid length. Yeah. But Jen and so anyway, if you haven't watched those. In between now and 3.30, there go to dressingyourtruth.com, sign in, watch your course, part one, the real women videos, and maybe we should do a giveaway after with a quiz. One line in there. Okay. <laughs> what are we giving away? Support Ooh, kit? Figure it out. Sure. Let's give away a support kit. Okay. The, um, yeah, if you're a type three, I challenge you to go through the entire course between now and 3.30. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, oh. I'll see you back.